Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're gonna see a problem number two, today's contest. Minimum length of string after operation. Problem number three is already live. You can just go and check it out. It simply says that you are given the string again. I'm reading this problem just because of many people have confusion about this. I don't know why, but this. It simply says that we are given a string S. I can perform the following process on the string which I've given any number of times. What is the operation? The operation is I can choose any index. I have to go and left to the nearest left index, nearest right index having the same character and then remove those left and right characters. Ultimately, I have to return the minimum length of the final string S. I can repeat this process any number of times. So on the string A, B, A, A, C, B, C, B, B. Now, According to the problem, I should take any character, don't remove this, but go on to its nearest left, nearest right, remove them. Same way, take the character, go to its nearest left, nearest right, remove them. Ultimately, you are left with the string A, C, C, sorry, B, C, B. Length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Answer is 5. Now, as soon as you hear the word nearest left, nearest right, you should have clicked a word called like a word called as monotonic stack because that helps you figure out a nearest left nearest right of a specific character you might you might have also like start thinking about two pointers but the entire essence of this problem is that who cares if i have let's say if i have a a if i have a a here a here a here a here I don't have to print that string exactly right. So if even if I have a A, no matter if I take this A or this A, who cares? No one cares. I have to just remove one one K. That's it. So that is the that is the reason. What I will do is I just need to maintain how many A are there. I don't need to go into nearest or closest character. That's not required because I have to just ultimately tell count of characters in the end. No position required, no relative position required. So I will maintain the count and I know for every character, ultimately to remove two characters, like to remove two characters, I need to have at least three characters of the same character. So for A, I should have the frequency of three or more. In that scenario, I will remove two characters. Now again, let's say if I have still some A remaining, I, I know this is the current state now of A after removing two characters. I will again pick any A, re again remove two characters. Now this is the current situation. So I realize to remove any character, I need to have at least three or more than equal to three number of characters of the same character. If yes, then I will remove two of them and then continue. So I'll do the exact same process. I will firstly check for this specific string how many A are there? How many B are there? How many C are there? Then I know for the character having more than equal to three number of characters, I can remove two. So here I will, I will be left with one. Here I will be left with two. And thus ultimately I will be left with these all, these all characters with their corresponding frequency. And this is your answer. Same way in this A is a frequency of 2, I cannot remove anything. So that is your answer. So you will see, I will maintain a hash map to grab the frequency. So I will do the same thing. I will maintain a hash map to grab the frequency. I will go into all the characters and grab their frequency. Now, as I have grabbed the frequency, I will go on to a specific, I will go into individual characters. I know I only have lowercase English alphabets. Okay, the constraints. Yeah, only lowercase English alphabets. So I will go on to all the lowercase English alphabets and the corresponding frequency. Now, what I will do again, uh, the count, which is the frequency, it is same. It cannot exceed the size of the array itself, right? So this loop, this, this for loop combined with this while loop will run in O of n time, right? Thus, I will keep on going on the array, like on my count. When my count is more than equal to three, I will simply keep on reducing by it, minus two, minus two, minus two. I will keep on reducing that. And I'll keep on reducing, I'll keep on trying this provided I have my count more than, I have my count more than equal to three. Because I know I need to have three or more elements to start reduction of two elements. And ultimately, 
I know after reducing this count for that specific character P dot first, I will have the count remaining for that specific character. I will just add this in my answer, and this is my ultimate answer. Now, uh, if you are much curious, you can you can just replicate this process in terms of math also, but time will still remain same because you have iterated O of n time here and O of n time here. Thus, time will still remain O of n. Now, space space because of it is map hash map. Hash map only contain lowercase English letters. So, sorry, yeah, wait is gone. Yeah, lowercase English letters. Thus, the space will be O of 26. That's it. Which you can say the space will be O of 1 also. Cool. I hope you guys got it. If yes, then do smash the like button and do join on Twitter. Do get on Twitter. Bye bye. Take care. X people say nowadays.